Now, what is this process? This is encoding process of cyclic codes. Means what? How to convert a message word into corresponding code word using cyclic codes. And these codes are systematic codes. So this is a three step process. And this three step process you can see here is step one is pre multiply the message polynomial m of x by x raised to n minus k. So m of x is the message polynomial. And how will how we will get this message polynomial? From where do we get this message polynomial? What do we have with us? We have with us the message word, right? What we are converting into code word? We are converting message word into code word, correct? So we have given the message word. So what we have to do is the message word that is set of zeros and ones. So this set of zeros and ones has to be converted into message polynomials. And then multiply this message polynomial by X raised to N minus K. Now obviously value of N and value of K will be specified in the problem statement. So if N is equal to 7 and K is equal to 4, then it will be multiplied by X raised to 3. Cubed, multiplied by X cube. Then I what we are doing is divide the product in step one that is m of x into x raised to n minus k by the generator polynomial g of x. Now here we need the generator polynomial, right? That is the use of generator polynomial in converting message words into code words. We have to divide the product by the generator polynomial to obtain the remainder. Remember we are supposed to obtain the remainder not the quotient and hence the equation is b of x is the remainder is equal to remainder of this division operation m of x into x plus 2 n minus k divided by g of x so you divide this product by generator polynomial and whatever remainder you get that remainder you have to add to the product so in step three, it is written, add the remainder b of x to the product m of x into x plus to n minus k for obtaining the code polynomial c of x. So here is the equation for c of x is equal to this product message polynomial into x raised to n minus k plus the remainder polynomial. So in step three, we get the message polynomial. And from the message polynomial, we can get the code word by just writing the coefficients of the variables in this polynomial. We had also discussed one example based on this so that the things will be better clear. So here you can see. Uh, OK, let's see the example first. This is another point for. Yes, this one, for example, for n comma 4 cyclic code encode message word 1001 for g of x is equal to x cube plus x plus 1. Hmm? This is the problem statement given to us. What data is given? What data is available? n k hmm? message word hmm? and g of x. Right. Correct. So we have a value of n with us, we have value of k with us, n is equal to 7, k is equal to 4, message word 1001 is given and also generator polynomial is given. Now what is the first step? Pre-multiply the message polynomial m of x by x raised to n minus k. So for multiplying the message polynomial, what we are supposed to do is this message word should be converted into message polynomial. How to convert this message word into polynomial? Can you tell? Can you guess? Hmm? How 1001 is converted into 1 plus x cube polynomial?
Hmm. Do you understand? How, how, how much bits are there? Four. Right? So, four. correct. These four bits are the coefficients of the terms or variables in this polynomial. So, if there are four bits or four coefficients, what is the uh, degree of the polynomial? If there are four coefficients, Three. Three. Correct. If the degree of polynomial is x square plus x plus one, how many coefficients will be there? Or roughly we know that if there are four coefficients, then the degree of polynomial is one less than the number of coefficients. So it must be equal to three. Hey, Lakshat, Yes, Otherwise, you won't be able to convert this message word into polynomial. Actually, it is not a difficult thing. You may be already knowing this, but I don't understand because I cannot see you. You are not responding. So I don't know whether you know this or not. So for number of bits equal to four, the degree of this message polynomial will be equal to three. And then this is the first term. One, then the term corresponding to X and X square are. Or the coefficients corresponding to X and X square are zero zero. So these two terms are absent and the last term or the coefficient is one. So the term in the polynomial is X cube. You can either write this as X cube plus one or one plus X cube. You can write it in either way. Barobara hai samaste ka how to convert the message word into message polynomial? Hmm? Yes, if you if you take this polynomial and you are asked to find out the message word from this polynomial, can you write it? Yes or no, you just have to write the coefficients yes. of these terms, correct? So this is one. Coefficients of x and x square are absent, or that means they are zero, and the coefficient of x cube is one. So this will be one zero zero one. So whatever is the message word given, you can convert it into message polynomial, and then multiply this message polynomial by x raised to n minus k. Now n is seven, k is four, so this will be n minus four equal to or seven minus four equal to three. So the power of X will be three. So we are supposed to multiply this polynomial by X cube. So when we multiply this one plus X cube with X cube, we get the answer as X cube plus X raised to six. Correct X cube plus X raised to six. This is the product. Then the second step is to divide this product by generator polynomial. So we have this product x raised to 6 plus x cube and divide it by the generator polynomial given in the problem statement as x cube plus x plus 1. I hope you can do this polynomial division and remember that this addition is modulo 2. However, this addition is modulo 2. So whenever there are similar terms like here x cube x or x cube. So these similar terms get cancelled. X raised to 6, X or X raised to 6, the answer comes out to be 0. So as we do in the subtraction that the similar terms result into subtraction equal to 0, these same terms to be cancelled out, correct? Because this operation is XORing. Obviously, there is XOR symbol here also because we have taken the first term in the coefficient as x cube. So when you multiply this x cube with this x cube, it is x raised to 6. x cube into x is x raised to 4. Here it should be uh, exhoring sign or plus sign and then plus x cube, right? And then since these terms are same, exhoring will cancel out or make the result of them as 0. So these two terms become 0. 
and what remains is the x raised to 4. Now, since this power is less than x cube, we can further divide and take the second term in the quotient as x because we want to cancel out x raised to 4. So here it is x cube. So I need x here because when I multiply x with x cube, I get the term x raised to 4. So x raised to 4 plus x square plus x. Then this x raised to 4 and x raised to 4 terms get cancelled and what remains is x square plus x. Now we should stop the division here because the power of this polynomial remainder polynomial is less than that of the divisor. So we cannot divide more any further. So this is the remainder that we get. So we have done with the second step and the third step is add the remainder polynomial to the product of m of x and x raised to n minus k. So this is the remainder x plus x square plus the product is x cube plus x raised to 6. So here you can get this polynomial which is called as cold world, cold world polynomial c of x is equal to x plus x square plus x cube plus x6 x raised to 6. Now from this polynomial we can find out the code word corresponding code word plus x. So the coefficient of x raised to 6 is 1 x raised to 5 and x raised to 4, the two terms are absent, means their coefficients are 0, 0. x cube is present, so the coefficient is 1. x square coefficient is 1. x coefficient is 1. And the constant term is absent, that means that is 0. So can you see the first four bits are the message bits? See here, the message word is 1, 0, 0, 1. So the first four bits are message bits and the next three bits are parity bits.